Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to draw a nice and metric of this and also a one point perspective of it as well. So let's start. All right, to start, make sure that your polar is at 3060, which it is. Then let's start by going this direction, six inches. I want 60. Let me do this again. Six inches. Okay, now I'm going this direction, 2.25. Then I'm going to go up 0.5, which is the size of a platform. Going back here. Going there. Okay. And then I'm just going to make, connect this. I'm going to connect it over here. Alright, so that's the size of my platform. Now I need to find the center line, the total height, which is 1.75. And then I need to make another line in this angle here going 3.5. Because this line represents the width of this right here from here to here okay all right now, now I just need to go straight down to this platform with those lines and then I just need to go back and make go this way this line's crooked way as well. And I'm going to follow this line it there and trim the parts that you won't see. There you go. So I have my basic shape right now. Now I got to do my circle. So in order to do my circle first I must do a box of the same diameter as the circle. Right? So I am going to go one point two five this direction and I clearly didn't go that way so I have to do it again. One point two five in that direction. One point two five in this direction. And let me delete the line that didn't comply. And then I am gonna go up again one point two five. I'm going to go to 1.25. Okay. Go over there. Go there. Got my square going. Okay, so now I have my square. Now I got to create my lines. You see, I'm going to create these lines at a 60 30 degree angle. And you'll notice how they cross the midpoints. Okay, so we gotta locate our circle. So let's do our lines. Make sure that this is at 30 degrees. I'm gonna go from here, 30 degrees. Then from the same corner, another 30 degrees. Then from the opposite corner, same thing. Okay, so you should end up with something like this, like a diamond shape. Okay, your circle, go from there to there. Circle from there to there. Then you can trim them so you don't get confused. Then you have your bigger circles, which go from here all the way to this corner. 
from this corner all the way over to that corner. Okay, and now you can get rid of all your construction lines. And just get rid of the part of the circles you don't need. Trim. Just copy these lines. That corner, that corner, that corner, that corner. And copy these two circles from here to here. We'll find out that that don't need that no more. Trim. And now we are almost done with the isometric. All we need, we know that the circle is right in the center here. And we know that it is 0.5. So we go 0.25 in each direction to make our box or square. 0.25. Then trim what we don't need. Okay, now we need to make our angles again. This corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. Notice how all those corners intersect the center line, the center point of your square line. You can go to circle and go from this intersection to that one. Same thing on this side. Again, trim. Nice. And now you want to go from this point all over to that point. This point to that point. Show again. Okay. From there, we're at Nova Isonometric. And now let's do our one point perspective. So for that, I'm going to take the my front view that I made. Come over here. You can pick a point or ever at random for your one point perspective. And then all you have to do is bring all your lines to that vanishing point. Okay, uh, let's just trim this line right now since we know it's going to be hidden. Okay, so now we got to pick a depth. So I'm going to go from there and I'm going to just guide myself to there. But I'm not going to click, I'm just going to click the 2.25 and see where it leads me. And it leads me right there. Uh, I think that's way too deep. So I'm going to try again and I'm going to try this one with 1.5. I think that's going to look a lot better. So I am going to remember this is <coughs> not supposed to be accurate depth. Okay. It's supposed to represent the picture, not be 100% correct. Just look like the picture okay so now I'm gonna so I'm almost done so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it from this point all the way to that point did I do that nope gotta do it again right there and then trim 
and there almost done now we just need to do our circle here so we know it's in our center so we go from center to center center to center now we carry the square like we did for the isometric right 0.25 0.25 and we go this way 0.25 and that way 0.25 all right, and then we just do our arcs. Put them inside those lines so they look correctly. This one's far away from that line. Okay. Now it's just erase. And there it is, your one point perspective. Okay. Thank you. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know.